We've, I've been here 14 years, the shop's been here 175 years, he's in the fifth generation now. Started with a, a man called Byron. You do get a, a lot of new customers, our main trade now is Chinese, yeah, that, they will, they'll come guaranteed every week, they probably spend the most money. Language barrier can be str quite a struggle, but I think the more you get to serve them, the more you sort of pick it up really, mm -hmm. same as anything else. Um, but we get used to it, we get on with it, we have a laugh, we have a joke. Usually we've got a lad here called Rob and he usually serves a lot of the Chinese and he's become quite fluent. <laughs> so it's just a case of, of asking them really and working with them to what they want and if we can get it. Me and my husband used to do the Harbrook Market with the same kind of stuff for nine years, past nine years out there. And then um, I was out of a job and I thought, right, this is it, I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I wanna do my own business. Yeah. The, yes, I do get a lot of foreign customers, a lot of students, and yeah, it's yeah. a whole mixture. So for that reason, I've stuck that yeah. sign there, yes. But uh, it does help. You still get some people what do like the tra traditional cuts, which we are doing now. I mean, we haven't changed anything. We're still doing the same. Two bones, chines, legs of lamb, half a leg, silver side, top side. We're still doing all that. But for the, the other side, like the uh, foreigners, they're like uh, Albanians. Right? They're bulk buyers. They don't know, like, say, have a, I'll have two pork chops or two lamb chops. They buy a whole, two whole loins, two whole shoulders of pork. And that's what they want. At the end of the day, we're working uh, you know, 12 hours a day, so we all have to, we all have to try and get on with each other and help each other. I'm a router last nine years, okay. and we're selling like menswear, and uh, the customer we got all different kind of customers: Asian, Chinese, West Indians, English, all different kind of customer we have. The customer atmosphere is very good. Um, basically, it's, um, it used to start off as just an old-fashioned English delicatessen, but obviously as time has moved on with the amount of different nationalities that we've diversified into doing as much range as we can, basically to fulfil the need of every nationality we're coming into, into Birmingham. You go on the internet a lot and find out what speciality of different countries, find out what people like, and asking the customer it again. You know, if someone comes to me and they want something, they might say, can you get or have you got? And I say, yeah, yeah, I'll well, leave it with me, I'll see what I can do. In a supermarket, there's nobody to ask. You pick up a packet, you ain't got a clue. You can come into a market and you can ask the butcher, how, how would you cook it? I've seen a recipe, how, what would I do with this? And you get that little personal touch which the supermarket just can't give. I think in a lot of different countries, they, that they are used to that market mentality. So they're used to come around here and you know, they're more used to it than we are in some, in some respects, which can only be good for us because we're learning from them. It doesn't really matter if the people speak to you in English, Chinese, Portuguese, it doesn't make no difference. I sell flowers um, and I do plants, uh, house plants, uh, garden plants, um, vegetables, uh, anything, anything that can be grown or eaten. The market is the heart of Birmingham. The Bull Ring's fantastic. It's an absolutely fantastic place. But you can walk into that Bull Ring and not speak to anybody for the whole day. Where in the market, there's always someone to talk to. There's always someone who's just there. Yeah. Where there, everyone's on a, you know, to get that shop, get this shop, straight in, straight out. Well, here they can just have a cup of tea, sit down on the chair and have a chat. Uh, every from all sides the people come here mm -hmm. because this is Birmingham mm -hmm. and Boarding Centre is very famous in Birmingham. So the language is not that important for us. Understanding is more important. We're dealing okay. Mm -hmm. No problem for any language. I've seen a lot of changes over the years. Um, yet when we were in the old market, which was over the road where the boring is now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, yes, we've seen a lot of change over the years. A lot of change in um, different people, different countries, buying different uh, ranges and varieties of fish. We have got posters there with all the Latin names on, <laughs> okay. so it's easy if we're not quite sure, 
we can go to we go to the poster. We've got all the Latin names and we've got hooks as well. So we can try and get the fish that they've been used to buying in their in their own country and keep keep the trade moving as to say.主要还是靠自己意念的你你你你你没有那个决心没有那个意念我想真的是呃走不到今天这里对的那个时候一天去那边要去两三趟推推荐那那种小推车就是拿去送货那个小推车那个时候没有车只是草炭轮过来比较比